what specifically, what kind of content are you sharing that's going to get attention? <gasps> hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Laurie Kidd. I'm a business strategist for the Busy Mompreneur. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. You make the channel what it is. But if this is your first visit, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and click that bell so that you get notified when new content drops. Today, we're going to talk about what kind of content gets attention. So if you are new here, we do talk a lot about content on this channel, content, 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 all sorts of content, um, creating content that sells, creating content that attracts your ideal clients, creating content for your ideal clients, all the content, creating high valuable content is what's going to set you apart in your business. But what specifically, what kind of content are you sharing that's going to get attention? <gasps> right? What are you going to share? Let's get attention. And that's what we're going to cover today. So if that's what you want to learn, stick around. Now, content can be very confusing, which is why I strive very hard to make it simple. I love creating content. I love video content. I love print content. I love all the content. Absolutely thoroughly enjoy it. But this is a pain point for so many people that I talk to. So on here, you're going to see that we strive to make it super simple. But what kind of content is going to get you attention the quickest? What's going to get you the most engagement? What's going to get the likes? What's going to get the follows? What's going to get the comments? Let's dive into it. I've got four things for you today. Number one, the first thing that bar none, hands down, is going to get you attention is sharing a photo of yourself or a photo of yourself with a family member or a friend or a coworker or going out and having fun, something that's about you. It is much easier for your audience and anybody else who comes across your page to connect with you on a personal level if they can see you. Now, does that mean that you can't use stock photos? You can't use just picture images and whatever? No, that's not what that means. It means that you're going to get more attention when you're showing your lovely face, when people can actually see you as a human and they can see that you are somebody that they can actually um, relate to. So pictures with you are going to connect easier for your ideal people to engage with. Number two, those pretty little colored backgrounds that Facebook so easily gives you. Instagram um, allows you to do those in your stories now, which is amazing. I love it. They are something that people are just eating up. They're quick to consume. You can give value in a short post that they can engage with. They can click it and move on with their lives. It's easy to consume. When you're scrolling really fast, you can read those few words and it's going to be amazing. Now, remember, when you are using those colorful backgrounds, make sure that your posts are intentional, giving them information, giving them something of value, giving them a question that they can interact with so that it's going to boost your engagement. Something that they are going to need to like this if you agree or drop a heart if you think that this is true or is this something you struggle with? Give me a thumbs down, something like that so that they can actively engage in it. It's going to be quick, but it's going to be something that they can share or, oh my gosh, this is such a valid point. And they're going to go share it on their own stories or on their own page or whatnot. Something quick, easily digestible. Number three, also in the easily digestible category, online quotes, quick one line quotes that are going to be like thought provoking. This is the business that you could design. That's a really bad quote, but you know what I'm talking about. Those, those motivational quotes that Everyone's just like, you know what? That's true. I'm just going to share it because I want everybody else to see it. You want to be that person that they're sharing. One line quotes. Again, they're easily digestible. There's something that people can interact with quickly. They can see it. They can agree with it. They can share it. And then they can go about their day. And really, it doesn't take any time in their day. And this is what you want, especially in the fast paced social media world where you have a million and a half things pulling for your attention, you want to be one of those things that is pulling for the attention. Did you know, blah, 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 right? Yep, shareable, clickable, commentable. I didn't know that. That was amazing. Something that they can quickly do in that 10 seconds of scroll that's going to stop their attention and make them go, huh, those one line quotes are super powerful. And when they are resharing your one line quote, other people within those people's network are going to see you and thereby come and follow along because that was immensely helpful, 
right? So you're going to grow your following and your content's getting attention and you're opening yourself up to an entirely new market. And then number four, teachable content. But, but when I'm saying this is make it easily consumable. So if you guys are in Mommy's on a Mission, right there. If you're not already there, go and join it. It's an amazing group on Wednesdays and Fridays, I have shareable content for you guys. It's just little note cards and it's got a thought provoking statement. It does super stinking well. I need to start using them on my other platforms. Don't judge. All business owners have holes in their business, but they're easily digestible and they are some of the ones that get me the most traction in my business. Most traction because they are teaching you something and they are visibly appealing. <laughs> And they can be easily consumed and shared and other people can see them super quick, super easy. You could also do action cards where you're like, here are the five ways to do this. Dut, dut, dut. Now, Instagram, you can do what's called a carousel where you just do the little swipey thing. Those can be very, very helpful. However, not all the time does someone have time to swipe through it. What you could do instead is create a card with all of those little bullet points or carousel points in one thing so that it's easy to see, easy to understand, and they can be actionable. So there's still a teaching point. Not that I think the carousels aren't important. My biz bestie tells me all the time that they are super important. I'm not your Instagram girl. If you want to learn Instagram, go find somebody who does Instagram. <laughs> I am your Facebook friend. I will teach you how to grow your Facebook group to immense heights. If you want to do that, there's a freebie for you. Go click that um, and get all the fun tools and tricks and ticks, tips and tricks. Blah. <laughs> but teachable content is going to help set you apart because you are going to be helpful, but it's going to be easily, what is it? Digestible. They can get it in their quick scroll. They can be like, yep, absolutely. I'm going to share that. And then they're going to go about their day. And that's what you want. You want content that's going to get attention. You want content that's going to get shared. You want content that's going to get engaged with. So let's recap the four points. One, photos of yourself are always going to outperform any other photos that you share because people want to connect with someone. We are, we are a social creature. We want to connect with somebody. And when we see your face, we're more likely to connect with you. Number two, those pretty color backgrounds get lots of attention and lots of engagement because they stop your scroll because our eyes are focusing on the color and then the content just happens to be there. Number three, the one line quotes, easily digestible because they're quick little snippets and people love to share them, which means you're opening yourself up to an entirely new audience that you may not have been having access to before. And then number four, teachable content, but make it so that it's easy to consume something that they can read in quick and understand make it actionable so that they can take it and go on about their day, but still getting something from you so that they come back for more information. What kind of content gets you attention? That kind of content gets you attention. That's what I've got for you. I will see you guys right back here next Monday at nine. Bye.